Hello, today I'm going to be filming a, I'm going to film like what I've read recently but I thought I'd do a little twist on it to make it a bit less boring so I'm going to talk about books that are really heavily put on social media and all like heavily recommended and say whether they're worth the hype or not. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this video, please like and subscribe and let's get into it. Um, yeah, so a lot of my books that I buy, I usually buy through recommendations on Instagram and things like that and Goodreads. So, like if there's a book everyone's talking about, I usually just buy it just to see whether it's worth the hype. So yeah, I'm just going to go through, give my honest like opinions. Obviously I'm no book expert, I'm just like a normal girl who likes to read in her spare time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll be as honest as possible. One of the first ones I read this year was One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus. Um, and it basically follows four teenagers who are in like detention together. With Actually, there's like five all together, but one of them passes away during the detention. And obviously because he passes away whilst in detention, everyone in the school thinks one of the other people in the detention killed him. Um, so it's basically like a who done it. Like they're all trying to work out who killed um a guy called simon um so it has four different perspectives in it which um you do get used to it after a while um but overall i actually really enjoyed this book i know it's more aimed at like teenagers and like probably young adults but i mean i guess i'm only 22 i guess i could be classed as that but obviously it's based in high school so it is kind of like young but i think still the storyline is really like creative and it is very very gripping and i read it within like a week like honestly i've really enjoyed it so if you're someone who wants to get back in, into reading or wants to read something easy, I would really recommend this because as I said, the story is still quite gritty, um, but obviously the language makes it really easy to understand and stuff. So um, yeah, I would really recommend this one and I think it is worth the hype. This is Going to Hurt by Adam Kay. Um, I read this fairly recently and it is basically the diaries of a junior doctor. Um, he was a doctor for about 10 years, but he quit after a while because he just didn't like the job anymore. Um, but obviously he like it's all true stories but obviously he anonymizes the names and things like that for confidentiality reasons but yeah obviously i've seen everyone talking about this book whilst being in the pandemic um it's not actually written through the pandemic but obviously if you want to learn more about what it's like to be on the front line this is a good book to read and honestly i think where it's written in like diary form it's really easy to read quite quickly because obviously it's really like short passages like none of the entries are more than like two or three pages long so yeah, again, I read this within about four or five days, and um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. There was like some times which were like <laughs> a bit hard to read, especially being a woman, because there's a lot about childbirth in here and things like that. So I was like, oh my god, it's, like, it's putting my kids for a bit longer, put it that way. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I said, if you're not squeamish, I would really recommend this. It's really interesting. Like, again, he does explain like some sort of key terms and stuff relating to being a doctor, but again, he puts them at the end of a, a page. So if you don't want to know the exact term, you don't have to read it, but if you do want to know more, you can read more about it. Also, I think if you're a student who's studying medicine or something, this would be a really good one to read, as I said, because he's like his actual doctor experiences. Um, but yeah, overall, really like this one. Right, the next one is Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. Um, this is basically a woman in her 30s who's like reflecting on her 20s about her like dating, her friendships, and all that sort of thing. And I personally really enjoyed this. Like, I know everyone says it's a really good book, but I can see why, like, even though it's written about her own experiences, it feels like a story. Um, and like, there's so many like relatable things in this, like to dating apps and things like that. And yeah, I would honestly really recommend this, like, especially if you're going through a breakup or even if you're just single or dating around or you're in your relationship, I would just recommend this book. It's a good one. <laughs> the next one is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. And to be honest, this, in my opinion, is not worth the hype. Like. I was just reading it and I, I found the first like half of it really slow paced and just boring like honestly I was just like is this story even going anywhere like it basically follows um two people who share a room and they share the bed but at different times because the guy is on like night shifts and the woman is like works nine to five so they never actually share the bed together um and I think it doesn't follow it follows like important themes like gaslighting and things like that but I don't think like i don't know i just didn't really connect with either of the characters and something which i found just really irritating i don't know what it's just this genre but the whole like girl who's like a toxic ex-boyfriend whatever she can't get over i was just like that is so overdone now in this kind of genre of like rom commy books like i don't know this just really fell flat for me i didn't really enjoy it that much like i still read the whole thing but i wouldn't personally recommend it like it was okay but i don't see the hype around it at all 
The next one is Queenie by Candy Carty Williams and I absolutely love this book. I would say it does live up to the hype. Um, so it's basically the story of a black, like young black girl living in London, about her relationships, like the breakdown of one of her relationships. Again, dating apps, that sort of thing. It's like it's a fictional story, but really good. I think it's kind of based on the author's true experiences. Um, and yeah, I personally really love this book. It was really gripping, and I liked how it had like the sort of girl group chat in there. And like most chats, like I just found that so funny. <laughs> and um, yeah, so some of it is written in like text, some of it is written in like phone calls, some of it is just written like a normal story. Um, but yeah, it took so many twists and turns, and I just again, I really personally enjoyed it. So I think this is worth the hype. Next one is How to Break Up with Fast Fashion by Lauren Bravo. Um, and I think this is worth hype because it is quite educational. I did find some parts of it kind of hard, not hard to read, but like it was very like preachy at some parts. Um, but if you want to learn more about like the fashion industry and stuff like that, this is a really good place to start and like how to be better at like sourcing like ethical fashion. Again, really good place to start. Um, it's quite digestible, like the chapters are quite short in it, which I quite liked. Um, the only thing I would say there is sort of like an ongoing theme of like comparing like buying clothes to buying uh, like well, to dating even which can get a little bit like tedious at times but um overall i did find it really informative and has really like changed my view views on fast fashion another dolly alderton book this one is ghosts and it is her, it, this is a fictional book it's not based on like her experiences at all what it probably is but like this isn't about dolly alderton um, so this follows the like 30 something year old girl called Nina who is single but like all her friends around her are getting married or in relationships or whatever and I just thought this was like a really refreshing perspective on like sort of like a girly book because most of these sort of books are like trying to find a relationship or they're going through a breakup but this one just it is pretty like normal life like that's the only way I can describe it and uh, one of the main themes on it obviously in the book is Sorry, that was the dog barking. Um, but one of the main themes in it is obviously ghosting, which happens a lot in modern dating, um, which I found really interesting. She also talked about ghosts of like her best old best friend and like the ghost of her dad who is like um, getting worse with dementia. So yeah, it does cover a lot of like quite serious topics, but in like a really easy to read way. I did found the I found the ending a bit kind of like anticlimactic. I don't know. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I just feel like the ending was a bit like oh was that it kind of thing, but. I think overall I do think this book is worth hype. I did see a lot of like mixed reviews about this book, like some people really liked it, some people didn't like it. But I, I was definitely more on the fence of like I liked it more than I disliked it. But I can see why people didn't if you see what I mean. But in my opinion I think this book is worth the hype. Now I'm just gonna go through books I have also read this year. So I think one of the first ones I was reading like from Christmas to New Year was One Summer in Paris by Sarah Morgan. I really enjoyed this book. Um it's just a really easy read, like perfect holiday read I would say, like if you just want to be somewhere else that isn't the UK right now, good book to read. <laughs> um, yeah, I just found some charity shop once, so hence why I wasn't in the last section. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. Basically follows two women who have gone to Paris on their own, for different reasons, but they kind of become friends and things like that, and yeah, it's just a really cute book. Nine Perfect Strangers, I probably should have, like, I have seen a, a few people talk about this online to be fair, but this um follows nine people who go to like a wellness retreat sort of thing and like obviously want to get better for different reasons so i found that aspect of it quite interesting but the actual storyline and like plots i was like i think also where there's like nine different characters like all the chapters like on different characters it takes you like a while to get into it and like understand what's going on and completely um so it was all right like i'd probably say three out of five on this book like it was an easy read well, not easy but like it was quite easy to follow but the actual storyline was a bit eh. Following on from One of Us is Lying, I've got One of Us is Next. So this actually follows the story of like one of the main characters in the previous book, like her little sister, who kind of goes through a similar thing. It was like an anonymous person like spreading hate and like daring people to do a truth or dare kind of thing. Really, really interesting. Um and like sometimes sequels don't always live up to like the first book, but this one was so different, which I quite liked. And it still has like some of the characters from the old book in this one, which again I thought was really clever. Um, but yeah, I would really recommend this book. Currently I'm reading Little Fires Everywhere, although that will probably change by the time I upload this video, because I'm reading very quickly at the moment. Um, so as you can see, it's a television series with uh, Reese Witherspoon at the moment. Um, but yeah, obviously it was a book first, so 
I've only like a couple of chapters in as you can see but basically all I've got from it so far is that there's this house which like there was a fire in it at some point and it's like a very sort of wealthy area in America and like a single mum has just moved there with a child and sort of the neighbours are a bit like well how could she afford to move there sort of thing um, but yeah apparently the head mistress wants to know more about her or what I've read from the blurb anyway um, but yeah it's really interesting so far um, quite easy to read I will say the text is quite small in this but like as if it's quite easy to read you still read it quite quickly um, but yeah I'm enjoying it obviously I'll update you more or follow my goodreads if you want to know how I get on with the book so I hope you enjoyed this are these books worth the hype video I've never seen anything read like this um, on YouTube but again I hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and I'll see you soon bye